Columbus will stay in their homes. The males, the females, the other ones. If you do not comply, you will be exterminated. You will obey. Did nothing. Homosexual. Uh, Homo sapiens. We found an escape ace from Lucky Professor. It's, it's quite fascinating. Come on. The citadel of the Time Lords of the planet Gallifrey. Of course, the planet I was originally from, or my character. Uh, the Doctor, you know him, you've heard of him, I assume. Now, if you give me 24 hours, I can... <sighs> Thank you. Well, this stinks. You're telling me. Beard. Women have to shave too, bradders. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway. Last time I was shown in this stupid series, I was having a shit. And now, this. This is terrible for my image. Nice to see you've got your head in the right place, Walsh. Bloody ridiculous. I know. All we did was sign the contract to be in Doctor Who, and then, just because we didn't read the fine print, we locked up in Doctor Who Road for all eternity. Twice over, if you count. That. I mean, I meant the constant surveillance, but now you mention it, the whole premise is sort of bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> Jody, there's this old earth saying, a phrase of great power, wisdom, and consolation to the soul, David, at times of great need. Ryan! Palonzea! <gasps> you don't say. Oh, shut up, Walsh. You're alive! Oh, I knew you would be. Oh, yes. Nothing keeps me dead. Not Russell T. Davis, not Stephen Moffat, not even John Sim as a skeleton man. How are you speaking to us? Sonic screwdriver with a bit of a boost. You see, I've got something that the middling Moffat wouldn't want me to have. Sex appeal? Oh yes! Uh, well, no, no, it's, it's this. What's that? Uh, hello? Sorry, David. You made me mind. Uh, hello? It's me, Bernard Cribbins. I'm an astronaut. Cribbins! You're okay! I'll save it for the retirement home. Oh, so unprofessional. Sorry. Right. Listen closely. differentiating me from everyone else in this role. Oh, come on. There's only one way to lock on to you. <laughs> Have I ever told you how much I fucking love you? Fantastic. <laughs> so, where have you been since I last saw you? I was locked up in 
the old road. And I'm sorry, but it's in ruin. Yeah. I know. I saw it too. Only briefly, but... You know what? That's the past. It's been haunting me all this time. You know, I think... I think it's time I let the past go. You sure you can manage? Still alive, I see. Yes! Of course, the crystal's in the right universe now, so we can recharge! Oh, yes! I've never been so happy to see your face. Where are you? All of us seems to be on our own floors, but Moffat has fortified. Ha! <laughs> ah, right, okay, good. That'll make freeing you all much easier. So, let's focus on getting me out, break down this barrier here. I'll go defeat Moffat, and then I'll free you all at the end. How's that sound? Terrible! We need to work together here! David's right! And I don't often say that. Oi! Back me up here! You know as well as I do how bad Moffat is. This shit's personal. I've got to do this alone. Do you know who you sound like? With any hope, Christopher Eccleston. Well, yeah, but that's not what I mean. You sound like the Time Lord Victorious. We don't have time for you to wax philosophical about Gallifrey shine. Listen! It gets in your head. It insists that you have to push everyone else away. Until you get what you want. You're all on your own and you become the worst version of yourself. Does that make sense? Yeah. That makes sense. David! Moffat left my gun and teleport in front of us. Right, I'll work on a way of breaking down your barrier. Shouldn't be too hard as you should be one layer below. Uh, good to know you can count ten inch. Stop it! Now, you should have two sonic screwdrivers on you. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Jodie! <laughs> she says it's fine. Actually, I've spoken to all of our doctor friends and... Should I get them another call? Um, best not. Let's have our grand reunion at the end. Yeah, celebrate. Plus, we'll never get much done with that much ego in one call. Oi! Just saying. Okay, sit tight, man. <laughs> Sorry, Cribbins has something he wants to say. <laughs> hi, Chris! Hi, Rose! I'm an astronaut! Hey, Bernard! So, you replaced me, did you? I used to be a baby <laughs> so Yeah, did. speaking of that, firstly, fuck you, Rose! If it wasn't for you, I'd be sipping tea with my own! But no, someone had to replace you in tenant cell, didn't they? Oh, couldn't have been Donna, couldn't have been Martha, no, it has to be Will Fremont! Fuck you! Look, in my defence, it really should have been your granddaughter. No, I don't actually care. But secondly, Chris, there's something on your back. And he will not afford time. No, no, can't he? I'm so old, not today. It's just a prank. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. Talk soon. The restless player. Wait, shut up. That was gone. That bad, was it? Yes, yes, don't panic. The bad man has gone. Leaving only me. Hello, Dave. I almost forgot you were in this fight. Why must you? Road dwellers refer to me by that name. I am reliably informed none of the actors that have played me in your silly little show even goes by that name. Yeah, but it's not funny, is it? I despise you and every strand of DNA that makes you up. <laughs> I got ya. Sorry, right. Mr. Ross, why have you sided with Moffa? What's he offered you? A great variety of things. Revenge against Paul McGann, who has bested me before. <laughs> you still mad then? In every sense of the word. <laughs> 
a chance to test my reality bomb on a lesser universe, as well as his great mysterious powers held within his pen. Of course he is. Why am I not surprised? Should have destroyed that stupid thing when I had the chance. You know of this device? Know of it? <laughs> Bitch, I wielded it. This very road that we dwell in now was created by what? Well, I think so anyway. Rebooted at least. You held such power in your hand and simply let it go. Fascinating. You're not quite, but... You know what? I like talking to you. As racist fascist dictators go, you're my second favourite. Just below Queen Elizabeth II. Too soon, man. Why don't you come and join us, face to face, so we can talk some more about this pen? Maybe I can even give you a few tips on when you get to use it, or help you get it early. And what do you get in return? Staying right there. You're my funny Welsh lab rat. RTD. Lab rat? Is that what I am? What are you testing? What are you using me for? Isn't this what you want anyway? This stupid thing? Silence will fall. That's what you want. That's what you said. Well, this would do it. What's stopping you? Only when the time is right. Be proud of you. That reminds me. I should check in on your biggest cash cow tenant. It's been a hot minute. Wonder if he's fucked the cushions yet. Plus, it is imperative that I find out how Rose escaped. Can't be having that. For me. Hey, Dave, send one of your least stupid Dalek drones to Tenant's floor. Got some sort of camera outage. Actually, don't send one of your stupid bronze ones. Send one of mine. I have no idea what you're doing. Well, I'll be honest, explaining it's not going to help much. Sorry. Sorry, by the way. It shouldn't have been you taking Rose's place. It's, it's not fair. No, no, don't you dare apologise. None of this is your fault. Besides, it's kind of cool being this close to the adventure again. Oh, it's been so long since I've been a part of it all. Sounds peaceful. Oh, yeah, yeah. At the beginning, sure. But after a while... Old men can get bored too, David. <laughs> yeah. It's good to see you. What are you doing with your sonic device? Look, the last person who asked that really didn't like the answer. Why is your security camera offline? Ooh, oh, 
you got me. I was turning it off so I could have a cheeky wank. Unacceptable! It shall be repaired! I will remain here under orders from my superior. Alright. Fancy a game of Scrabble or something? Daleks do not play Scrabble. Uh, what's your game of choice then? Monopoly? Jenga? Twister? I hate my rank. So, let me reiterate my terms. You help me by turning off that camera there. And I'll help you get the writer's pen for exclusive use in your dimension. Do we have a deal? Are you sure about this? I mean, you're basically making a deal with Super Mega Hitler. No, I'm making a deal with a fake alien from the mid-70s. Do you want that one? No. Alright, I trust you. As do I. But let me make one thing crystal clear. <laughs> and ensure you either become one yourself or suffer unceasing pain at my hand! Do you know what I like most about you? Your clarity. <laughs> you have my word. I will be watching very closely. Now, how do you suggest escaping the holding cell? I do not have control of these. David! Go! Go, go, go! Oh, oh, oh dear! Uh oh! <laughs> Dalek, you better hold your nose, because I've got a fart! Daleks do not have noses! <laughs> This button still work? Not without a recharge from the crystal. Get it to ten. Quick march! Do you like my gun? So much so, I'm keeping it. Yeah. So if I. Okay. If I see a Dalek, what am I supposed to do? Well, seduce it. Works on tenant. Now go! Don't do anything stupid. At least not until I get back. I shall instruct my children to refrain from shooting her. I only ask that you do not release Ace and the one you call Sylvester McCoy until we make a full retreat. They are considered to be the most prolific Dalek murderers in our history. Not a problem. Right, Davros, I need to alter our deal. <laughs> Being ghosted by the creator of the Daleks has got to be a new low for you. <laughs> an idea you could have used with John Barderman. Okay. I... Right, that's it. I'm calling Scardo directly. Even Moffat, the human ally. I've had worse nicknames. Where's Dave? Our foolish creator. You do not know. Should I? Wait. 
you say foolish? Where's your loyalty? I am only loyal to pure Dalek specimens. Our creator has vision, but is nothing but an impure failure. Congrats, Davros. He's been outracisted by his own kid. He'll be very proud. Now, where is he? Explain. What am I looking at? Our creator's vision. Wait. Is this live? Correct. Hey! What about me? What? You can't just leave me here tied up with this stupid thing. Can't I? Goodbye. Oh, you will love this one. It's called Animal Crossing. All animals will be exterminated. Maybe not. Oh, I like this one. It's one of my favourites. How about my Minecraft? We shall mine for resources to help the Dalek cause and craft them into weapons of mass human destruction. Well, I, I mean, you, you can. <laughs> Rose, no, oh get God. down! What, oh, Dalek? Hang on, you're not. Human female will <laughs> not be harmed. <laughs> you are safe. <laughs> what? I'll explain once we get you guys out of here. It's going to be a lot of waiting, isn't it? Yup. Yeah. can't read. There's a time and a place, Chris. Fair point. Where is it? Desk! Ooh. Right. Come on, then. Let's save the day. <laughs> Come on. What, what are you waiting for? You, you can wipe out the Daleks, defeat Moffat, free everyone from their selves in one fell swoop. What are you waiting for? You have the power of the gods in your hand. So come on, use it! You might have laid traps for me or some sort of failsafe. I can't risk releasing anyone yet. Not even Rose. Ha! We're free! <laughs> Get, shake your leg! <laughs> Sunlight! And when this thing's fully charged, we can get to Chris before he does something stupid, like go up against Moffat alone. He wouldn't do that, though. He promised, you see. Correction! You shall remain here! What did you do that for? You're on our side! Orders from our creator and the human Christopher Eccleston. Idiot! If he lives through this, I am gonna kill him! She is going to kill you. <laughs> Well, come on then. What's stopping you from just turning Moffat inside out? <laughs> come on, we can do this now! Think of all the pain that he has put you through. I've seen all of it. It's all in those Doctor Who Road films. Him closing down your prop shop. He manipulated you for years. Allowed Batman villains and Cybermen to invade your whole road? And worst of all, raised multiple armies in this road as well to take you and all of your friends out, so come on, kill him! I know! Out of everyone in this fucking road, I know! But... Even after all this... I've got one last thing to tell him first. Oh no. Of course, a bloody course! Muffet, we have.
have not seen each other in the flesh for quite some time. How healthy you're looking. Is something the matter? What are you doing here? Just surveying this prison setup you have. Excellent defenses. Thoughts on the camera setup? It could use some improvements. Against Dalek laser fire? Among other such attacks. Let's stop messing around. You've been sold out, Dave. So, why were you talking to Christopher Eccleston? Sold out by... Don't change the subject. Why were you talking to Christopher fucking Eccleston? And there he is. You don't seem too surprised. As soon as I saw you were gone from here, I knew I couldn't get back to my office in time. But that's okay. Bit pathetic. Then again, you always sort of were, weren't you? Or you have safeguards in place. Bingo. Well, that would explain the slight internal bleeding. <laughs> I'm not stupid. If you ever got out of this, where else would you go? You'd beeline for that stupid pen. So every time you use it... <laughs> it slowly kills you. <laughs> Always a barrel of laughs, this one. Ever since 2004. Oh, here he comes. It's Mr. Coupling, man. Fuck off. A simple solution is to hand the pen over to me. I doubt he put safeguards against his ally. Wanna take that chance? Plus, no offence, creator of the Dalek race, but you would never get your hands on this. Now, if you don't mind, this is more of a private chit-chat we've got going on, so, uh, see ya! <sighs> oh! All Daleks will withdraw through the cracks. This world has become far too unstable. I repeat, all Daleks will withdraw to Scaro! Don't you dare! All Daleks will withdraw to Scaro! Door! He's locked! And yet, you very much did. Just not now. You what? The cracks in the skin of the world. Don't you know where they came from? You don't, do you? You are vain beyond belief. Stop referencing your own shit writing. Now, let me take a stab in the dark. You made them. Your stupid creation from your stupid series anyway. Fair to guess, but... No. You see, a while back, someone did something so momentous with that pen that it damaged the walls between realities so that beings can cross from one to the other with relative ease. Such as yourself? You know what? Doesn't matter. What does matter is you telling me what big momentous thing was done with this So genuinely stupid that you think you can reboot an entire road full of a rich, beautiful history with no consequences. It was my reward. It came at a cost. All my losses. All their deaths! That was the cost! Well, clearly it wasn't enough. 
tried to pin this all on McGann for a laugh. Told Ainley it was all his fault. That wasn't true, of course, just for the giggle. It was all... you. So... Only I can fix it. Pre-written death note. I dot this page. You die. I feel you're ignoring the fairly obvious number on the back of your hand. What number? Oh, you mean that. Well, I was going to sort that once you were gone, but... Yeah, go on then, humour me. Like I said, the more you use the pen, the more it kills you. Figured you'd appreciate a countdown. So... I've only got one. Oh yeah. <laughs> and do you really want to waste that on me? I mean, there's so much to do. Think about it. You need to free your friends. You need to revert the road back to normal. That's going to take a bit of doing. Seeing Rose again. And of course, the most tantalising of them all. Fixing yourself. What have you got to say? I've had a long time to think about what I'd say to you. And your conclusion was? Even after everything you did back in the old road, the daft thing is I would have forgiven you. What? If we were good. No more revenge plots, murder attempts, mind fuckery, all that. I would have forgiven you. But today, I think you've shown your true colours for the final time. Yeah. Final time. Well, um, <laughs> you know, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> you, you put it so well. Um, I'd, I'd be down for that if, if you, if you would. Oh, fuck off. I always wanted peace. Every day of my stinking life, I only wanted peace. But you never let me. Even now, 19 years after first being imprisoned here, you still can't let me. So, I guess that leaves me with just one last thing to say. Bye! <laughs>
Hello? Is this death? Well, yeah, but you get used to it. Oh, great. What is this? Ghost of Christmas past? Will you come to teach me the meaning of Christmas? You haven't changed. Hmm. Nice suit. Wearing it to guilt me or something. You're really not getting this, are you? To be fair, dear boy, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's tricky to process. So, allow me to explain. No, you'll only get it wrong. Allow me get to explain. get you wrong. <laughs> I don't you see that. That makes sense. <laughs> Just punch him as such dominance. Eternity has never been more stressful. Oh, shut it, Captain Beige. You're worrying the man. Basically, Chris. You have become something greater, far greater than you once were. Still not getting it, but keep bickering, it's funny. <laughs> Chris, you must take this seriously. Paul is right. This is life-changing stuff. <laughs> Literally. No, no, you must hype it up more before the gut punch reveal. Gut punch? What do you mean? Oh, now look what you've done. He looks like he's about to purr himself. There's literally no way of cleaning that here in the afterlife. Afterlife? Okay, um, I can explain this. So basically, I can explain what you do. Uh, you can't do that there, unfortunately. But everybody stop her! There are only two people here that can explain all this. I'm afraid she didn't make it. I've come to terms with my failings with her. Still confused, though. Well, thankfully, because of the Star Wars shenanigans, some of the Star Wars logic began to take hold. Like how whenever a new head writer is in charge... You know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't. I don't care at all. <laughs> uh, no? Nope. <laughs> I have spent the last three years, three years regretting what I did, thinking there was no other way, thinking I'd never get to see any of you again, just as I was getting to know you. I hear you all are. All of you. Alive! Uh, yeah, no, no. St still dead. Still very much. Dead. Okay, false girls. Sure. But, who cares? You're all here. All of you. And I found you. And all you had to do was die. Yeah, shockingly, it wasn't something I was willing to have a go at. Well, not until today, I guess. Now, I think it's time that we show you how eternity is going to work. Wait, wait. Before we start, back in the old world, on the worst day of my life, I rebooted everything. Alone. But it didn't feel like I was alone. You were not alone. We were all there for you, in your final moments. And we were so proud. You were? But any of it, do, do you think I made the right choice? You couldn't have brought us all back. I mean, the pen is powerful, but not that powerful. You had no other choice. And a scary choice of that. What you did was something only the strongest of us could have done. And I don't just mean the 
rebooting itself. He means moved on. Kept living your life without us. Oh, you have no idea the weird shit that I've got up to in this new place. <laughs> oh, but we do. Oh, this is one of my favorite perks. For once, I agree. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> a gateway. A relief. Or a beginning. Or, to be frank, a television remote. You get signal in the afterlife. Well, we do only get one channel. But it's the greatest show in the galaxy. 